Here's a video of the current status of the Scylla mooring. Uh, we got the two Jacos right here. We got uh, had to buy inch and three quarter shackles to fit on there. Uh, they're two piece shackles, so we welded the pin, and we have the which is one and those yeah the one and three eighths set up, so those will go right onto the one inch stud link, uh, and that's set up on both of these for the crown line. Uh, this is a bridle type crown line, so we have one inch shackles coming off of each uh, corner of the Jayco, and we size that down to 5 8 shackles. Uh, the one inch are four piece, the 5 8 are two piece, so we use seizing wire on those. And that goes to three quarter chain, which has a 5 8 shackle, and the crown line, the uh, half inch crown line will go right into that when we uh, are ready to put it in. Same sort of setup over here, except we couldn't get other four piece one inch shackles. So we have inch and an eighth two piece shackles that are seized with wire. Uh, again, the five eighths shackles go into th three quarter chain bridle up to a five eighths shackle um, for the crown line. This is the mooring for the wave rider. Uh, sorry, this one is. Those are the other two. And we have our chain weight for the uh, installation procedure and um, next up the way we are faking out the mooring line we're still waiting on two shots of one inch chain so we have this is what it'll end up looking like uh, one shot of one inch chain with the connection uh, that chain will go the free end is right here That'll hook right onto the inch and three eighths on the end of each anchor, and then the end of the nylon. You see there, it's, the chain and nylon are connected there, and the other end is here. This uh, is the pair link that'll connect to the other long length of nylon, um, and we'll do that underway. And the other two are staged, ready to go for when the next two shots of one inch chain show up. Uh, and then all of the other 310 foot lengths of nylon are faked out on this pallet, uh, all set up with hardware so they can just be uh, shackled in and put over the side. For crown lines, the setup is like this. Uh, you see on this one that's the lantern mount. But the uh, 200 feet of half inch chain is coiled on the pallet. You pull the mooring ball off of the coil of chain and then uh, you can uh, attach the end on top of the coil to the anchor, fake it out on deck, and uh, use that to lower the anchor at the site. And then the ball goes in. Uh, and this, all the connections on the end of these have been welded uh, to deter any potential theft. And uh, same thing, just for a look at the Samson. Uh, we were able to get an inch and a half shackle on the mooring side of this one. That one's also a two-piece, so it's been welded. And it's got the inch and three-eighths there, ready to go for the mooring line. And we also have on, this, on the crown line end, inch and a half shackle that's welded with a pair link to go to the five-eighths shackle for the uh, crown line. And also the last thing to point out is on the crown line, we... So I'm just uh, catching up on the crown line here. We did a float test with the 200 feet of half inch chain and the buoy and it was riding uh, low in the water. So we want to add flotation. We're going to add about 100 pounds of buoyancy to the system by connecting floats to the chain just below the, um, below the buoy. This one is one of them set up. And we have two other floats, these guys, that are uh, going to be connected to the other two crown lines that hasn't been set up yet but uh, that won't be that won't take too long and uh, that's where we stand